Each cell has negligible internal resistance. The reading in the voltmeter. So guys, what type of a voltmeter is this? If they have not given you a data to get the voltmeter's resistance, or that they have, if they have not given you a clue that there is uh, a resistance in the voltmeter, what we do is we take the voltmeter as a voltmeter in which that you have infinite resistance. Infinite resistance in a voltmeter, so R here is infinite, means there is no current in this circuit, right? This part there is no current, no current through the voltmeter, no current through the battery 9 volts. So there is no current. So where do you have the current? Where do you have the current in this circuit? Only in this closed loop. So this is reading circuits, guys. This is a skill of reading circuits. Now the 12 volts is going to get divided to the ratio of 3 is to 1. 3 is to 1. So divided by 4, well divided by 4, multiply by 1, that's the potential here. So the potential difference here is going to be 3 volts. 3 volts, potential difference here is 3 volts. And where do we have the higher voltage? So we'll start from one point. We'll start from this point. If you take this point's voltage as V, if that point's voltage is V, this point has a voltage, you know, current is flowing towards this side. So this is where you have the higher potential, this is where you have the lower potential. So if this is V, it's V plus 3 here. So here also the same V plus 3 voltage. Right. And what do you have here then? It's V plus 3, and you are going to go this way from plus to minus, it leaves us V plus 3 minus 9. So it's V minus 6. So the two potentials are V minus 6 and V. The difference is 6 volts. Difference between V minus 6 and V is 6 volts.